How's it going guys? Phantom Cave here with the latest few comic book. So we've got today, we have the City of Horror. Yes, you got it heard it right. Syria, City of Horror and amazing cover artwork by One of my favorite artists in the whole entire world, Antonio Lemos. Good job, man. Good job. And ironically, this is one of, well, I think, one of the first ever stories of that was Norman Workers, one of his first written stories, which in the early times when he was doing his stories, I actually read in the publisher message from, obviously, the publisher, W. Hogarth. Um, he was called John Bull, which, yeah, is pretty cool. I like that bit of a history. And coming in at number... Coming in next issue, issue 1861, The Golden Eagle, comes on sale... 27th of February 2020 and also announced this in this comic in this part here is few are doing this bushfire sale of the phantom coloring in book number one now I do have the coloring in book number one myself I didn't get it for 10 bucks I think I got it before they did this sale a long way before they did this sale. And the proceeds of the current in profits will go straight to charity. So good work, few on recognising that um, the proceeds are going to go to a very, very good source of bushfire repeal relief sort of things. Now, on to the story. Now, the art is done by... Um, it says here somewhere, the art is done by Oxen Eralp and B. Wilhelmsen. So basically this, the story is that there's a man hunter, not just only a predator of an uh, animal predator coming to destroy a village, to destroy a village, he... There is also, which is a tiger, and it gets killed. It gets killed, yeah. And this story is, I think, a 1970, 1976 fan, Phantom and story. I love how few are bringing out these Swedish stories. Now, what's going to happen in this year with the Swedish stories, is that they're going to bring out this very controversial comic that was labelled very controversial in Sweden because it had a... The artwork consisted of the flag being um, whapped over the face of some other guy, which I have not got the story and hoping that few will do a good job on the cover when it comes out. So back to the story. So there's a man hunter, not just the tiger that is coming to Bengali, that this, the old wise sort of crazy guy that the other, other people are thinking of him is crazy. He is actually... He's actually warning the Phantom that there's something coming from another country which which does actually ironically happen in the next page. The FBI catches up with this guy called Zemgara and he's flown to the airbase, airfield, and is boot deported to Bengali, which in reality he will... Eventually, for six weeks prior to that, he was in USA, but now he's in Bengali, and now he's causing a lot of trouble. And what I say trouble, I say, and also the press gets involved in it. This smart guy, he 
tries and tracks down, he tries and tracks down the Phantom, which works. He tries and tracks down, he tries to stop it, basically, with, by putting it on the newspaper. But the only thing that he isn't aware of, that, that the police and the press agency do not have enough evidence for which they can convict this guy and put him on the front page. So they try and go find the Phantom. Phantom comes to them. The Phantom says, yep, I'm going to go to Morrison Town, which is where this the biggest city in Bengala is. The, the Phantom gets to Morrison Town soon after that. He whacks some bad guys and saves his old mate from getting a whack himself. Um, he delivers those to the commissioner, but this special, very Yena uh, lawyer, very that is representing my clients, whom you just arrested, and I will sue this man here because he attacked my clients. I require to find out his name and address. So he, he gets his address and he's at the Bengala Grand Hotel. So they try and raid him. Um, but ironically, if we go past one, they, well, the bad guys think that the Phantom is dead. because His car goes over the edge which I like that part because it reminds me of Francisco. Oh, it's a story similar to this, but it was issued, it was published in, uh, I think, 2018 or 2017. It's um, Fran Frisco Frenzy or Frenzy Frisco or something. I'll get a p photo for you. And so the Phantom comes back, basically destroys their empire. The police, however, think they have gotten them by these two addresses of raids, but the Phantom's already been there. Um, the Phantom... Oh, Devil gets a sniff of old mate's old hair bud, um, his bald head, which is a little drag for his. Gets a, him his sniff and he's all bold head, um, they now have in, are in the custody of the police and the police have evidence to charge them, it goes on the front page of the, the newspaper and the Phantom is once again one of the heroes. So a new ad or sort of new ad this week is the Phantom Treasures of Dracon. I, I've actually, I've ordered mine. I ordered mine last year when they first were rolling it out. So if you want to get this, few is taking late pledges now. So go go on to phantomcomic.com.au now and get your last minute pledge in for the Phantom board game, which should be a very good board game. When I receive it, I will be reviewing it and talking about it. So, and the back cover is, again, one of, I think, one of Antonio Lemos covers, one of the greatest I've ever seen. Well, if we're talking about the greatest cover of Antonio Lemos, we're talking about the 2003 annual, which I got him... I got signed by, but the signing didn't really... The, he wasn't using a good pen, basically. So if you want to subscribe to the Phantom Cave YouTube channel, go down below and subscribe. Like, share, comment down below if you think that Few is doing a marvellous job. I know that I know that I think they're doing a very good job. And... Just check out Antonio Lemos' cover. It is absolute damn perfect. And in the background, we have a Massimino Gambole cover. We have a Jamie Johnson cover on show from this year. And we have Skeleton Coast by Shane. The cover is Shane Foley and Sarge. And 
most importantly, keep on phantom caving, people.